was the hardest match in my life emotionally and uh, what I felt inside it's uh, um, it's there's no words to describe because as I said uh, on court my uh, my heart st stays in Ukraine and my mind has to be on court and fighting and it's very hard to find the balance hard hard it was very hard to find uh, the way to to be able to deal with the emotions and uh, in your head there is a lot of thoughts and um, my family in Ukraine uh, a lot of people uh, are fighting there and of course this win this win compared to what is going on in Ukraine it's it's uh, nothing but uh, at least uh, I'm trying my best also to fight for for my country uh, and uh, where I can do that, where I can fight, you know, it's it's a tennis court. So I'm also trying to show the maximum support from my side. My sister is right now. It's the closest person who is with me, and uh, it's also a big support. And especially yesterday in the match, I could see how nervous she was. Even after the match, she was so emotional. She started to cry a little bit that she wants to be back home to her family and everything. Because uh, I can I can understand that she is still small, and we miss our parents, of course, and we miss our city. And we, before the war has started, we had completely different plans for each of us. But now we have to stick to each other. We have to be together, and we have to we have to move on. As my father said, you never know how it's going to happen. So we have to build our future. Maybe 15 minutes ago, before we had started this interview, my father um, texted me and mother texted to sister that uh, the Serena has started in Odessa. So they will need to go to the underground. We never thought it can happen. We thought after Dubai we're gonna go home, we're gonna practice for a while. And then we're gonna leave to, to France here. But you see how things can have can happen and change in life just in a couple hours. On 24th with my father, we had to leave uh, to Lyon here, and my mother will stay with my sister. But on 23rd we go sleep. We are packed. Everything is ready to leave. And 24th in the morning, the, the war has started. The bombs and everything. And uh, late evening of 24th, uh, we father took the decision that early in the morning of 25th we're gonna drive to Romania through the Ismail. We're gonna pass the border there, and uh, we're gonna leave with the banker to Lyon somehow. So um, on 24th they cancelled all the flights. They closed everything. Uh, even through the Moldova, it wasn't possible to drive and taking the car driving as well. It was very dangerous because they started to put bombs and you don't know uh, from from where it's gonna arrive. And you know, if you're not experienced with everything that it was going on there, uh, you won't understand how it feels for real when you go out for to the supermarket with your younger sister and somewhere not so far, not so close, there is the bomb, you know, and this sound, everything was super crazy. So the decision was taken very fast, late of 24th, and the mother probably had to go with us, but uh, when we arrived ready to, through the Ismail to the Ukrainian border with the Armenian uh, mother decided, we all decided she's gonna stay with father because we didn't want him to leave alone. We were crying a lot because when we were in the boat passing the river to Romania we could see our parents there and we were really crying because we we didn't know where we're gonna see them for the next time. We didn't know how it's gonna end everything and it's a tough, tough moment. First of all, it was a big pleasure for us uh, to meet the mayor of the city and uh, during the stay there uh, we got a lot of support, we got a lot of nice words and uh, I could see how, uh, how they really, French people wants to, to support Ukraine, how they know almost everything about it and um, well it was a really good conversation and I'm very thankful for the mayor for all what he has said and uh, for all what he said about that they're gonna try their best to make their support. 
uh, to send to Ukraine uh, if something necessary that Ukraine needs. I was pretty shocked when the war has started and how all the world been uh, supporting Ukraine, how many people are going outside for the meetings, how much uh, solidarity is showing. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's crazy because, um, you know, for us Ukrainians now, it's very hard and uh, I can imagine how hard it's for the people now in Ukraine who stand by for the Ukraine fighting and uh, this support uh, it means a lot to Ukraine. The more opportunity I will have to talk to the world to show them what is going on in Ukraine I will do that because we really need the support and uh, I hope that everybody is understand that what is going on there now is uh, something very dangerous and I wish I wouldn't wish to anybody to any country to get experience with that. What is